In this video we are going to talk about hater Mayhan hot wife Candy Harris. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. This PGA star, who is ranked in the top 20 of the official world golf ranking, and his stunning new bride, Candy Dawn Harris, were both so incredibly approachable and happy to answer any question we posed to them on their wedding. Candy Dawn Harris is a former Miss America. Candy moved to Dallas when she was 18 years old and began her dance career with the Dallas Mavericks. After that, she spent three years as a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys. Candy is originally from Odessa. When Candy first went out on a blind date with Hunter, she had recently finished her stint as a cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys and was planning to return to school to finish her degree. Instantly becoming a couple, Candy began accompanying her beau on tour locations all over the world shortly after they began dating. When Hunter was on tour with Candy just days before the start of the 2010 US Open Championship in Pebble Beach, California, he surprised her with a breathtaking 6.2 carat oval diamond that had trillion diamonds on each side of the center stone. Hunter knew that he had found the one and proposed to her with the ring. It seems that Jordan Spieth was destined to live in the Preston Hollow Mansion that he purchased two and a half years ago for a total price of $7.1 million. The mansion has 16,665 square feet of living space. It is not because anyone predicted that Spieth, who was now 24 years old, would be on his way to earning $37,173,732 in PGA Tour paychecks alone as of the time this sentence was typed. It turns out that a woman's intuition was the reason why Spieth was supposed to live in that house all along. The history of the mansion was shared with the news by its previous owner, a fellow PGA Tour player named Hunter Mahan. This is how we learned about it. Mahan shared that his wife had a feeling that he ought to go ahead and make the purchase. Candy Harris, a former cheerleader for the Dallas Cowboys and current dancer for the Mavericks, is Mahan's wife. Despite the fact that the Mahans now have three young children, Hunter Mahan stated that the primary reason they made the decision to sell the house was because it just didn't feel like home. Domicile matchmaker Candy informed Spieth, who at the time was residing in a Preston hollow shack with a comparable price tag of $2.3 million, that the home was available for purchase. Even though we didn't plan it that way, it has the atmosphere of a bachelor pad, according to what Hunter Mahan had to say about it. It features a fantastic swimming pool in addition to a basketball court. And there are gates. It is populated by wonderful individuals. It has a private setting. I am aware that Jordan would prefer not to lead a solitary life, but it is necessary for him to do so. It's quite amusing. He told my wife about it, and now he's living in it, and he's doing great, and I know he's having a great time with it. My wife mentioned it to him, and here we are. Spieth got engaged to his high school sweetheart, Annie Verrett, just before Christmas of this past year, however, if there is a possibility that the house may be too bachelor paddish for future needs, it isn't evident in the way that he describes the house and its extras, including the 12 by 16 golf simulator room. Spieth is a professional golfer. There is plenty of room for this week's house guests, who include tour player Smilly Kaufman and his wife, Francie, as well as Spieth's caddy Michael Greller and his wife, Ellie. The house has five bedrooms, so there is plenty of room. Spieth praised Hunter and Candy Mahan for the outstanding job they did in planning the house. I absolutely adore it, and on top of that, I get a lot of work done in there thanks to the gym and the simulator. It was executed very skillfully. I most certainly value the effort that was put into that, and I take great pleasure in doing so. It's not like the Mahan sold Jordan Spieth a rundown house, but whenever someone sells something of value to a friend or family member, isn't it natural to wonder what that person will do with it in the coming weeks and months? How do they feel about the purchase overall? Is there anything that stopped working properly? What should you do if the garbage disposal makes a loud noise? The problem is that you hate for something to go completely wrong and then he comes at you and gets mad at you because you sold him a lemon or something, Mahan said with a laugh. The problem is that you hate for something to go totally wrong and then he comes at you and gets mad at you. After that, there was a period of time in which you were concerned. However, after more than two years have passed, it would appear that the Mahans are in the clear. In addition, the asking price of the home was $8.495 million, but they sold it to Jordan Spieth for only $7.1 million. 
This represents a significant discount. Anyone who has ever watched the show Love It or listed on HGTV can easily deduce that Spieth got a great deal, as he has more than enough money left over to buy a new garbage disposal. Chipshots, a member of the older crowd, pondered why he was experiencing pangs of nostalgia while scanning the 156-player field for the Nelson. At first glance, it appeared that there was a high percentage of, uh, experienced players. Jeff Ogilvie, 40, was asked by Chip Shots if he was aware of the trend after he won the US Open in 2006. Are you saying that the average age of the field is quite advanced? Ogilvie asked. According to Chip Shots, there are 35 players who are at least 40 years old, 14 of those players are 45 years old or older, although Chip Shots might have missed a couple of older players because he is of Champions Tour age but not golf ability. Ogilvy remarked that it seemed like the younger players got less playing time than they did. Because of the absence of a large number of players with higher rankings at the Nelson, a lower tier of exemptions for the PGA Tour tournament was utilized to a greater extent than is typical. This tier is comprised of former tournament winners. My Byron, although this is Adam Scott's first time competing in the at and amp T. Nelson since 2012, the tournament has always held a special place in his heart, both because of the man it is named after and because of the tournament itself. Because of this, Scott and his wife Marie decided to name their son Byron when he was born in August of last year. Adam explained that the decision was influenced by his admiration for Nelson, the couple's affinity for the poet Lord Byron, and the natural splendor of Byron Bay, which is located in their home country of Australia. Scott remarked that people think of Byron Nelson as the epitome of a gentleman. And if my Byron can be anything like that doesn't have to be a champion golfer, but if he can be a gentleman, I'd be very, very proud," the speaker continued. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.